when I started thinking about her for the movie, I was like, wow, this girl can do it. I knew she could based on her, you know, her instincts. I need a comedy in the movie and all the drama in the movie, and she just hits it out of the park. Bienvenidos nuevamente. Su participación en la banda sonora de Moulin Rouge con la sexy canción Lady Marmalade quizá la hayan preparado para este momento, pero fue su despliegue de virtuosismo vocal y comicidad natural en Saturday Night Live lo que finalmente convencieron al director de Burlesque de darle a Cristina Aguilera su primera oportunidad en la gran pantalla. What's the proposal exactly? Christina, welcome to Entertainment Television Latin America. Thank the interview is going to be in English, but I just have to say this in Spanish. Felicitaciones por tu debut de todo corazón. Congratulations on your debut in, in cinema. How's the experience been? Amazing. It's been a whirlwind. Um, growing experience, new challenges, and covering new ground for myself, both professionally, personally, having grown from the film and what I've learned. It was just a blast. The whole thing is such an exciting ride for, you know, to both be a part of and then for the audience. Oh, wow. LA looks gorgeous from up here. That view cost me three times what the house did. Why aren't you clever? I get to keep the second best view in LA. What's the first? Uh, and how many girls have you used that line on? None who ever called me on it. Burlesque se consolidó como la primera participación en la gran pantalla del artista pop Cristina Aguilera, gracias al talento del director Steven Anton, quien aprovechó al máximo la inigualable voz de Cristina. He's definitely a collaborator, which was great. He was always open to new ideas and changing the dialogue or the script if need be. He wasn't so by the book. Everything was open to conversation and it was really nice working with an open spirit like that because I think when you're dealing with creativity, it's best whenever you can hear other people's ideas and be able to go out on a limb and try something new, which he was always open for. It's a cold and crazy world that's raging outside But baby, me and all my girls are bringing on the fire Show a little leg, gotta shimmy your chest It's a life, it's a style, it's a need, it's a blessing Christina, you know, changed everything when she came on board and that, you know, we knew we wanted some original songs for the movie, and she one day said to me, I would really like, who are you going to to write these songs? And I said, well, you know, a bunch of different people. And she's like, well, can I write one? And I said, yeah. You know, not afraid of a challenge, a girl like Christina Aguilera. She went out and wrote song after song after song that was spectacular. Are you gonna get you a drink? Only if you're buying. Welcome to LA. Thank you. Where are you from? Iowa. Kentucky. We're practically related. That too looks familiar. It's the turning point, you know, because there's so many, so many people who go to LA and say that they can sing, and you know, there is all that. But when the real deal actually, you know, unleashes her pipes, it's it's unreal. Para interpretar a la joven Ali, Cristina contó con los privilegiados consejos actorales de la ganadora del Oscar como mejor actriz. El resultado fue una conexión particular y una actuación impecable. How much to Los Angeles? One way or round trip? You're kidding, right? I start to try to talk to her about, you know, it's not about makeup, it's about dreams. Let me help you. First of all, you got to wet it if you're going to get a clean line. We'll try. We have funny connections, we have angry connections, but it's kind of the cleanest, heartfelt moment. And it's a, I don't know, I think it's a real woman's moment, you know, because it, it's relating in a way that only women relate to one another. <laughs> Beautiful. She's a lovely person. She's very shy and, um, and, and quiet. 
certainly much more quiet than Cher. She's a wonderful actress. She really throws herself into it. And she's becoming more comfortable on set. Um, and that voice is, I, I've never heard a voice like that. As a fan, it's beautiful to see you show this side of yourself in this movie. Do you feel related, like, when you were starting out to the story that Ali lives in Berlin? You know, we have very different backgrounds and lifestyles, and, you know, uh, but uh, the fact of the matter being, you know, I was very young when I started in the business, and, um, you know, I had to grow up very quickly, um, being in this business very young, you know, with a lot of older men as my seniors and a lot of things happening so quickly and, you know, you, you just have no choice but to grow up quickly and I think when she's thrust into this amazing fantasy world of burlesque, Ali does have to take that turn for herself too and from going from this small town girl that is really naive but still very strong and um, opinionated, you know, um, it's her go-getter sensibility that really thrusts her into moving forward and progressing and changing the club herself. I'm looking for someone who can do the routine. All right. Which number do you want to see? I know every single one of them. You know every single number. Which one do you want to see? What's going on? You know, you were off the whole last half. Después del corte, la ganadora del Oscar y diva de la música Cher nos relata su regreso a la gran pantalla. No te muevas porque ya volvemos con mucho más de nuestro e-special Burlesque.